What is going on, everybody? My name's Jacob Forster. Welcome back to the Underground Blossom. I flirted with the idea of checking out some of the more secret things going on in this game, and I decided we're going to go ahead and do it. So at the end of the game, if you haven't seen, obviously, the first two episodes, uh, go watch that. That's the main kind of puzzle story overall. Uh, but once we beat the game, we found this suitcase here on the start screen that has this letter. Dear Harvey, if you read this letter, you have successfully accompanied Laura on her journey. But I have another task for you. Please meet me at the lake, Mr. Owl. And of course, we got this interesting little detail here where we can travel between stations. So let's just go to the lake. I have no idea like how involved this is. Typically, I, I have not really gone through a lot of the Rusty Lake, like, alternate, like, after the ending things. There's a lot of secrets. Uh, I know a lot of people want me to, and I'm actually considering going back and kind of reviewing, not reviewing, but just rechecking out some of the other games that I've played that have, like, extra secrets. Because, again, I love the series, and I never knew really how much more involved this stuff typically is. So, anyway, let's... Check out the diver over here. Hi. Please collect all the cubes. <gasps> yes, the cubes. Cube every station. Okay. So we will meet again. Gotcha. Use your items wisely. What is this? A coin. All right. What's inside the box? A cube? <gasps> oh. Wait. These are very familiar cubes. Okay. Very cool. All right, so we need to find one in each station. So seven, what was it, seven cubes total? I guess we'll look around, see what we can find. And, oh, is this the track for the tr for the train? <laughs> uh, something that someone else had mentioned in one of the comments, they said that I didn't open <laughs> locker number nine in Soul Street, apparently, which I think it has to do with probably one of the cubes, because I don't believe I ever got a key for that. Oh, hello. What was it Rose? Hello, Rose. How are you doing? I'm here to find your cube. Oh, wait a second. I doubt I go through this in order. One through seven. Was it seven? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven. <laughs> um, so I'm wondering if maybe the coin goes to the vending machine. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> it's cool, though. We're just going to kind of go through, see what we can find. So we got whatever was in the vent here. Doesn't seem to be anything with the clock. I'm wondering if there's like stuff in the background now that I have just happened to miss. Oh, yeah, this whole ticket station. We can pry it open with our crowbar? No. Interesting. <laughs> uh, we got the trash can here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with my gut. I'm gonna go with my gut and go to I think it's Sorrow Cross that had the little vending machine station. Hopefully we can get something out of this. I think this is it. Oh hi, I forgot about you just chilling on the floor. <laughs> yeah, the little snack thing. Okay, use it wisely. 50 cents. Ooh, so that means we'd be grabbing. Whatever this is. A nut bar. Okay. So who wants a nut bar then? <gasps> oh no, I forgot about our pigeon friend. <laughs> we never did this either, did we? Oh, and this is, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, we did, we did do this, we did do this, didn't we? Right? Yeah, I think we, I think we did. <laughs> okay, all of this is pretty, pretty much the same. Make pairs, we already did that. So maybe, Laura, do you want a nut bar? <laughs> no, probably not. Interesting. All right, so now that I've got a nut bar, I feel like the bird, th there was a crow and there was a pigeon. I wonder if they're still here in these previous stations to kind of let us get through and find these solutions. So let's take a look, see what we can get. 
<gasps> the little bird got it. And we never got a donut either. Cost fifty dollars. So expensive. <laughs> Sorry for robbing you. <laughs> okay. It's not. Oh, oh, Mr. Mouse. Johnson, we are hiring. Join our team at Johnson Bird Food Factory. We guarantee a welcoming team, exciting working environment, daily drop off at Bird Bridge Station at five o'clock. So that's how we got the many different people to come here into the station. <laughs> Just have this random fish down here. Actually, you know what? What if I try using the crowbar on the mouse hole? Yeah. $50 bill. Let's go. Let's go. We can get ourselves a donut. 50, please. Here you go. There you go. Donut time. Nice. All right, cool. Uh, Okay, so I've got a donut and a nut bar. Where do I bring this? I remember you. Hello, little birdie. Would you like a nut bar? <laughs> How about a donut? <laughs> no. You want the donut? Donut, my favorite. That's right, yeah. Have you seen that mysterious person? Which one? She visits the red tile station at noon. Okay, red tiled station at noon. Ooh, which one was that? Uh, is that Soul Street? Red tiled station at noon. That is definitely not a red tiled station. <laughs> um, was it Sorrow Cross? Yeah, that's definitely a red tile, right? At noon. So let's go to noon. Strange woman. <gasps> Hi. What is that? Cube. Cube Z. Bone Cube. Sorrow Cross, number four. Oh. oh. Just like that, she's gone. So mysterious. So strange. Okay. So, station number one, two, three, four, five. Station number five is done, then, right? So I'm like trying to figure out where I need to go or not go based on some of these options. And I don't know if it's worthwhile to come back here and drop off these cubes as we go along. I have no idea what the order is going to be, but would you like a nut bar? <laughs> Can I interact with you in any other way? Maybe the crowbar. Crowbar? No, if I paint on you. <laughs> You know what, maybe actually he would want a bucket of water. Let me go to Soul Street, because that's the one that had the locker number nine. Hopefully we can get something else out of this location. The broken timepiece. Oh, you're <laughs> I forgot about you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we already figured out this, his tattoos. Nothing in the box. Let's fill up our bucket with water. It's creepy. Fish! I wonder if I can grab that fish somehow. Actually, do you want a nut bar? <laughs> no. Okay. You know, that's fair. That is fair enough. Okay. Yeah, locker number nine. Pride open, pride open. No. Nothing. So weird. We already put the water on it. And nothing to do with the watch? Unless, is this pointing to 145? No, sorry. Um... Well, actually, it is kind of pointing at 1 and 12. So is it just 1 p.m.? Is it is this anything I should I should be focusing on? Oh, there's no clock in here. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, that's not helpful. Um, so either it's pointing at 1 o'clock 
So the this is pointing at this number, this is pointing at this number relative to the positioning that the clock kind of fell in, or that would be pretty close to, that'd be like two, 2.55. So it's either 1 p.m. or 2.55. I don't know where to test that, but we've got some options. Maybe. And I could be completely wrong on this one. <laughs> I could be completely wrong. Let's open the door. I'm going to test my water theory. Hello. Ah, uh, okay. No water for you. So let's just go one station at a time now that I've got a nut bar. I feel like nut bar would be good for the student. Oh, we can't actually adjust this. You have nothing else to say. Hello, Laura. Hello, baby. You, would you like a nut bar? <laughs> no, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. So we already looked here. There's nothing up there. So either one o'clock or 2.55. I, I don't know where, where this would be actually helpful um, in testing that in every single station. So we'll, we'll wait, we'll wait a second so we can find anything else with that. Child Lane. Oh, maybe Child Laura would like a nut bar. That's very possible. So three o'clock, or rather, sorry, four o five. <laughs> Why do I keep saying that's three o'clock? Uh, also, somebody pointed out that this uh, shadow was not. I think I mentioned it was the crow the first time, but no, that's obviously the parrot. Okay. So we've already set that timer somewhere, so that's not anything that we need. For bag here, my dear friend, I wish never had to, I wish I never had to leave her. Love my daughter more than anything in the world, but I know we both have to follow our own path. Please hold this timepiece close. It will protect her in the future, Rose. We got our ticket from this. Mr. Owl has nothing else for us. Leave me alone. That's right. Would you like a nut bar? What if we use the crowbar to open this? My my guess at this stage is that somehow we're going to get access to the timepiece again and be able to give it to Laura here in this section. Sweep. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Wait a second. Looks like something right there, but I don't think that's anything. I think it's just the uh, the way that the game is set up. Coin. Maybe I should have used the coin here, but that wouldn't make sense that I could only use it in one place and I'd be stuck elsewhere. Okay, school street. What else do we have? I have a feeling that the kid's journal might give us some clue about something. Your train arrives at 245. Okay, 245. Your train arrives at 245. Thank you, Laura. Appreciate that. Uh, is the crow still up here? Have a nut bar! <laughs> no. Darn. Okay, we have this bag. We already figured out, like, the lengths of each of these items to open up this journal. It's still not giving us much here. And I can't interact with this either. Oh, yeah! Okay, okay, I had a feeling the nut bar would work with the kids. What about nut bars? <laughs> do you hate nut bars? What do you want from me? Did you hate nut bars? <laughs> Your train arrives at 2.45. Yeah, I know, Laura. <laughs> how about a nut bar on your head? <laughs> okay, how about you? When is that metro coming? Here you go. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Funny. Thanks. All right, say it again. Two, 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 one, two, three. <laughs> two, 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 one, two, three. Got it. Got it. Uh, two, 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 one, two, three. 
<laughs> okay, I should have expected that. Um, two, 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 one, two, three. Two, 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 one, two, three. All right, give me your best, man. Give it all you got. <laughs> Please, I hope there's something else stuck in there. <laughs> Come on. A stone cube. Bird station, four. Why is it saying four every time? That makes no sense. <laughs> Amazing. Well, that's very good. Fish? Do you want a bucket of water? No. Please keep a close eye on your personal belongings. So there are big pockets active. Big pockets active. Oh, I was wondering if maybe I could paint in some of this. Because this is a brush with paint. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So ten eye with a blood drop on it. So I, is there anywhere where I can? The owl, the owl, the owl. Okay, uh, child lane. Let's test that. See if that works. Cause there's something different about it compared to what we knew before. Paint the eyes red. Yes. It worked! Oh, we get number nine! Cool! <laughs> oh, this is... Oh, I like this. Oh, I like this. I'm glad I looked in that book. Otherwise, I would have been stuck for quite a while, I'm sure. Okay, awesome. Locker number nine. What are we, are we going to find just a cube in here? We are. We got the copper cube. Soul Street! Sick. Okay, I need to keep track of these. Because <laughs> there's actually a lot. Um, and I may be missing out on where each item is specifically. Okay, put you in, put you in. So I need four more, wow. Um, and all I have is a crowbar in a bucket with water. Now, is there any... Okay, so there's going to be one here, right? In this station? Because this is technically a station. Rusty, like, loves to put things in, like, these inter... Like, in-between little sections, too. I don't see anything yet. I wonder if I can water the tree. Oh, dang. Okay. That's fair. That's fair enough. Put a crowbar on the tracks. <laughs> Make the train derail. All right. So what do I do with what I have left? This is pretty, pretty, it's not necessarily tricky, but there's not a lot to go off of. Paintbrush is completely gone now, by the way. All right, Laura Vanderboom. So we have our three pictures. One, two, three. So what's the significance of these pictures, these photographs? There's got to be, because we we've already used this timepiece. So 405. It's got the number two. Three with three trees. Four. We did number five. Six is the bird. Seven. Eight has the kids. Nine. Tree with a hole next to it. Ten. An eye with a teardrop of blood. And eleven. Harvey. The bird? Bird's name is Harvey? Or is it Harvey's bird? It is time. The long hand points to the tree, while the short hand almost catches the dark soul. We've already figured out that one. 405. Donut, my favorite. Have you seen that mysterious person? She visits the red tile station at noon. I already visited with her. I remember you. Is that all you remember? 
What if I dunk a bunch of water on your head? Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so we got the locker. Good. We got <clears throat> a donut. Sold out. Sold out. Sold out. So he's got nothing else for me. Over here, we can't interact with the speaker system anymore, which is done. Oh, what? Oh, I filled up this with water and I got a bucket or I got the net out of it. Okay. Well, now I know what we need to do. We need to go get the other fish, which is all the way back in Soul Street. Or at least I'm assuming that's what I do. <laughs> this is good. This is cool. I actually really like the fact that they have all these puzzles after the fact. Okay, let's highlight the net, go down here and wait for the fish to jump out, and I'm assuming we can just grab it. <laughs> yeah! Um. I just... I just swished him with the crowbar. I'm sorry, Mr. Fish. Crowbar. <laughs> okay, I got more bucket with water here. Um. Wait a second. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> terrible. Okay, well, at least I know. We can go to the crib station. And I'm assuming that goes to ticket station two. I want to go back to the fish now at the bird station. <laughs> Try to use the crowbar on that. Yes, is it just going to be a cube? Hello, oh, it's, missed. it's the bat. Bronze cube, crib station. Ticket to the next station. One shrimp, please. One shrimp? Ticket to the next station. One shrimp, please. Have a crowbar or a bucket with water. <laughs> to the next station? Is there a secret station? This is this is getting more and more interesting as we go along. Oh my gosh, I can fill this up with water. Whoa. What? What? Down, down. I'm taking a picture of this. I don't know what this is relating to. But I'm sure we can figure it out. No, I think I know where that goes. I th oh, I know where that is. <gasps> I know where that is. I know where that is. It's, um... School Street, isn't it? It's gotta be School Street. It's a ticket machine. That has all the really cool, like, symbols and everything on it. Okay. So I took the picture. Let's go in here. Yes. Yes. So two down. One left. The up, down, right, two down. An ice cube? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Uh, cool, I guess. All right, let's go back to the lake, drop off these cubes. So, what is that? Just one more cube left? Or two more cubes? Two more cubes, okay. So this is the bronze? No, this was, that's the ice cube. Wood cube, bronze cube, copper, glass, <laughs> wallpaper, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay, so two left. You sure you don't want a crowbar? Okay. Well, let's go back to Soul Street, because we want to obviously keep getting more water for our bucket, since that has not run out yet. It's quite the interesting setup going on. 
Actually, can I take water from here? No, not at all. So I can only take it from here. Bucket with water. Poor Mr. Fish. Hmm. Okay. See, I originally thought those uh, lines and dashes were meant for this, but then I realized there were no uh, diagonal positions, things like that. Okay, let's go back to Birdbridge Station. <laughs> I want to see, can I swoosh the fish? <laughs> I'm going to feel real bad if I can, but we've already done it once. <laughs> Same thing with that poor pigeon, dude. Okay, good. Bucket with water does not work either. Wait a second. Do you want to drink the water? No, okay. <laughs> it was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. Also, there's these giant pipes. It feels like I can do something with a crowbar with these. I don't think I can. Um, can I fill this up with even more water? No. So strange. There's nowhere else to click over here. I want to see my favorite conductor friend again. He was the best. I was his favorite customer as well. <laughs> okay. I want to go back to crib station. Just start from the beginning. See what I can potentially mess with with what I've got left. Because it feels like now I have even more options. So water doesn't work in here anymore. This is not going to not going to give us anything. No water interaction with this. There's nothing out here. You want a shrimp? Take it to the next station. One shrimp, please. <laughs> this voice is great. <laughs> shrimp. Oh, see, I'm I'm getting really kind of confused. Because there was, in Soul Street, there was a whole sequence with Laura, the bird head, all, all of the strange things that were going on. And I'm pretty confident there was a floating shrimp at a certain point, right? It feels like there was. And I was wondering if I could get back there, but it was I think it was only during a random sequence that that happened. So I don't know what to do. Emergency? Okay, nothing else with you. This is something that we can only look at. This is how we found our code. Can I break it? <laughs> with the crowbar somehow? I doubt it. I doubt it. Yeah, okay. Here's this little crank handle. Photo service, please. Photos, please. Nothing in here. We have our bag. Rose is telling us what to do to take care of Laura. And you're still in here. I can't interact with you anymore, interestingly enough. Tickets, please. Oh, I... Yeah, it's got a hinge up here. There's got to be... There, there's no... There, there's a reason there's a hinge. There is a reason that there's a hinge here. We got to be able to open this thing up. And apparently it's not with a crowbar. Or there's going to be another alternate code that we're going to find. Have some water in your pocket, sir. <laughs> okay, nothing... Nothing in Child Street. Let's go back to School Street. I just don't even know. Oh, I mean, I'm so far so great with getting all of these done. We already took care of this. Two different options to get our ticket. Your train arrives at two forty-five. Your train arrives at two forty-five. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's enough out of you. 
Trocoming? I don't know. <laughs> Can I just fill one of their pockets? <laughs> With... <laughs> Give me back! All right, fine. You look funny. <laughs> when is that metro coming? Okay, just trying to see if there's like a hint in what they say or do as well. Nothing I can see. You got nothing. Like literally nothing to say. You're completely done. This really didn't give us much of anything outside of what we already had out of this. We have a bucket of water? No. Okay. So one of you's gotta give me something. What do you want from me? I want whatever's in your pockets. <laughs> no. Okay. Just showing that they're in love. I know you hate school. I know. Okay, bird with bucket of water. Absolutely nothing here. Okay, past School Street. We were just in Bird Bridge Station, I think, a minute ago. So let's just go back here. Okay, I'm just gonna go one, one, one by one. Kind of cycling through, seeing what other options might be around. We've tried this for both. I remember you. Donut, my favorite. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be anything here left. I'm trying to see like if I could fill something up with water too. Please keep a close eye on your personal belongings. My eardrums. For water on it. <laughs> Break it with water. Okay, I think I think we've gotten everything that we can out of this little location. I would really think that the shrimp would come out of whatever's going on with that guy. No good with you. And then what about you? Can I like put water on your head? No. Okay, so now let's go to Sorrow Cross. This one where you're laying down all broken. Yeah, okay. So what can I do with you? No water. No crowbar. You like the timepiece? Ha ha. We have the picture. We can't open it or break it open or anything. I'm trying to see if there's like hints in like the location. So this is actually the forest. But I don't think there's anything that we can actually interact with. Oh, there's a panel back there. Oh my gosh. Okay, I, I did see that before. I always forget in these games. Sometimes I see like a little detail. I'm like, oh, that's cool. That's nice. But it's not a nice detail. It is a puzzle. Nine times out of ten. Okay. So top three, bottom right, are dark. We got it. Easy, easy. Is there a shrimp in here? No. Top three, bottom right, going back to School Street. Cool, cool. No, 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 uh, it's... Child Lane. Child Lane? I think it's Child Lane. It's gotta be Child Lane. Let's see. Let's see if I get this right. <laughs> yes. Yes. Top three. Bottom. Right. Is it opposite? Oh, I knew it would open. I told you it would open. <laughs> cool. Very cool. Okay, so now I just need to find the final cube. I'm already struggling. 
Um, wouldn't it be in? Wouldn't it? Uh, <laughs> see if I could break it. Uh, nothing to interact with here. Um, smack it, smack it, man. <laughs> <laughs> There's no extra things on the clock, okay. Oh yeah, the, they had the wallet. Is there anything else in the wallet? My door, mental health and fishing. And fishing. Poor pigeon. My favorite little guy. His life got cut down so quickly. We we did get this, right? Yeah, we, we definitely did this one already. Miss Vanderboom, here's the medicine to discuss with you during our appointment. Yes, 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 we figured that out already. I love there's just a finger. <laughs> okay, nothing else I can make a pair of out of that. Okay, so with all of this in mind, can't click on you. Yeah, with all this in mind, let's go to the Soul Street once more. My next guess is that I can do something with our friend who's all tied up. So I'm wondering now at this point. So let's redirect this. So instead of up and right, it's just going to be left. He should be electrocuted again. Look at the water. No, nothing else for you. We're sure we can't get you out of there. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> Give me what I want, man. <laughs> no, there's nothing. We'll wait for an extra second. You sure there's not anything else in there? So this is this is disturbing as well. Is this supposed to be just an accent detail with this line here? Or are those supposed to be there? We don't actually know. Nothing else in here. Let's pour some water in it. No. Lockers are all done. Crowbar doesn't give me any options either. The poster, maybe we could get this wet? No. Can we have this uh, ash pile? That's what I would assume it is. That was weird. <laughs> I guess it was resetting itself. Hmm. We sure we can't do anything here. <laughs> mm. 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 Okay, turn the light back on. I don't know what the what we need out of that light at this stage. It doesn't feel like there's anything at all. Huh. Okay, let's go back to our friend at the lake. I feel like now at this point I've exhausted all of my current options. So let's see what what we can do here. And then for the order, how do I even begin to order this? You got anything for me on that end? You gonna talk to me or not? <laughs> okay. I remember I clicked on a moth. That was just floating around here at one point. 
And then also in some of those pictures, like especially in Laura's book, her like journal with all the numbers, the Roman numerals, there was a man next to three dark trees, very similar to these. The shadow of a man. I know this is not uh, not the best <laughs> quality of searching, but sometimes the the full click through does help a bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. Crowbar, <laughs> crowbar on the tree. Interesting, very interesting. I, I'm really not too sure. Where else I would even begin to look now? So I feel like at this point, I'm just going to start kind of browsing through. Just peruse on into this place. Oh. Wait a second. Wait a second. Is there anything in here in the main screen? Come on, you gotta give me something. <laughs> no, dang it. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm gonna... I guess I'm gonna look around a little bit more. See if I can spot anything else and uh, I'll jump back in here. To the final piece of the puzzle. Because uh, basically all we need to do at this point is find a shrimp. Take it to the next station. One shrimp, please. <laughs> One shrimp, please. <laughs> I love the voice. It's very good. <laughs> uh, just a single shrimp. That's all we need. Hold on. Before I go. Before I go. Hmm. 10.15. So is that already set up? No. But it doesn't do anything. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Well. <laughs> I guess I'll look around and hop back in if I happen to find the shrimp. Or rather, when I find the shrimp. Because I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up just yet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, what did it? What? Oh, it's the button. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Well, that's kind of cool. When you hold on, it, hold on, it like, zooms out ever so slightly. That's pretty cool. Um, but not helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Not currently helpful. So, I guess we'll be back. See you shortly. Oh, my. Okay. <laughs> so, Laura's journal was very important. I've been looking all over the place, going back to every single terminal, and then I just reread Laura's thing. I was wondering about the eyeball next to this picture, but let's see what this is. Oh. Oh, that's just the last cube. What about the shrimp? <laughs> okay, cool. Well, I got to figure out what to do with this then. So let's put this in here. Uh, oh, there's my shrimp. <laughs> well, thank you. Are you supposed to be Mr. Owl, by the way? Because that's what the note said. To meet him at the lake. So, rib station now? Are we gonna go somewhere completely different? Because that's all the cubes. Now it's just a matter of giving Mr. Bat. Take it to the next station. One shrimp, please. One shrimp, please. The train leaves at 225. 225? A golden ticket? <gasps> Thank you. Wait, you got anything else the to say? Train leaves at 225. The train leaves okay, at okay. 225. I get it. I get it. 
<laughs> All right, two, 25. <gasps> Ooh, what kind of train? Oh, it's a golden train. <gasps> Is our conductor friend there? Oh, Mr. Crow. Was was the conductor Mr. Crow all along? <laughs> What's in there? <laughs> Tickets, please. Well, okay, here's the golden ticket. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 you go, go, oh, you missed. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. <laughs> You're my favorite conductor. No, come back. Oh. Oh, well. I'm on the gold train. Is this going to take me straight to Rusty Lake? Where are we going? It's getting darker. Oh, it's a split. The Hotel Rusty Lake. I knew it. Oh, the dog. The dog. Yes. We love the dog. Oh. Ring, ring. I'm not ready for the boat just yet. <laughs> What's going on here? You know what? I think <laughs> we are ready for the boat, actually. What? I guess we're just getting closer to the hotel. Rusty Lake Hotel. We've arrived. How stupendous. Back to work. Achievement unlocked. Underground. <gasps> Mr. Owl. Welcome back, Harvey. I am glad you're here. Ooh, this music is awesome. We have work to do. The day of the lake is coming. The day of the lake? You've reached the end. The day of the lake is coming. Would you like? Would you like to receive an invitation? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> would you like to receive an invitation, dear visitors? Thank you for ending Underground Blossom at the hotel. You're invited to receive a first teaser of our upcoming project. Please fill in the following form. To... Okay. Yes. Yes. I'm going to do this. Um. I'll do this after the fact. But uh, very cool. Oh, so cool! <gasps> ah! All right. Well, I hope that that means there a brand new game is already in the works and on its way out. This has been so fun. I love I love Rusty Light games. I know so many of you enjoy uh, when I play these games as well. So, thank you so much for all the love and support for these. Always. Well, let's go into let's go to Crip Station real quick before I start talking and doing an outro. I like I like the music. That's not just the train sound. Is there music in this one? There's no music here. <laughs> Was there music in any of these stations? <laughs> Actually, I'm curious if Laura is still just hiding out in the little thingy now. Leave me alone. Fair enough. Um, yeah, let's just go back here. But yeah, this is always so fun. It's so fun going in these. Um, I'm seriously considering going back and checking out the more in-depth secrets for some of these other Rusty Lake games that I've already played. Um, love to get the feelers out for um, all of you, if that's something that you'd like to see. Um, on top of that, obviously for what is coming up in the immediate next few games that I'm going to be playing. Uh, obviously, tomorrow, I think this comes out on Sunday? What is today, Saturday? Yeah, so this comes out on Sunday. Uh, tomorrow, we'll be doing a uh, Stardew Valley stream, per usual, on Monday. 
I was going to do the uh, Stardew Schmunday streams. And uh, then Tuesday and Wednesday, uh, I'm playing through the little puzzle game Gora Goa, which a lot of people have been recommending to me. Very cool one. Uh, I know a lot of people really, really appreciate that. And then I do want to get back into more of the storyteller kind of alternate like stamp puzzles that are involved with that game. After we're done with that, I may go into some Rusty Lake games. There may be new games that have come out. There's Cocoon that just came out as well, which is from the makers of Inside and Limbo. That's really cool. We're, we're set. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of stuff going on and I'm very excited for all of it. But in the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Love to get any of your thoughts and feelings on this one. And if you're not already subscribed, consider doing so. Hit that bell notification that we know exactly when I'm uploading any new videos. And if you'd like to see any more content from me, you're welcome to follow me on any of my other socials like my Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, I've got Discord channel, and a bunch of other cool things always listed in the description down below. But of course, that all being said, you all are awesome. You all are amazing. And I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Later. <laughs>